Yes, absolutely. Uh, we have a, a different uh, a balloon platform for right now, and uh, actually, the uh, you know most developed uh, balloon platform is a cryo uh, cryo ablation balloon. And uh, probably in the uh, near future, we'll see other balloon platforms, uh, especially RF, radio frequency uh, balloon uh, uh, platforms uh, for uh, uh, treating patients with the paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. And also we have a, a laser balloon. Uh, that means that we have, uh, you know, balloon platforms uh, with different energy sources and the aim is always the same, just uh, to achieve a pulmonary vein isolation in patients with a paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. Patients with a, a paroxysmal atrial fibrillation are, you know, the uh, best candidate uh, to undergo a uh, catheter ablation uh, with the uh, balloon uh, devices just because the cornerstone of uh, treating patients with a paroxysmal atrial fibrillation is uh, isolation of the pulmonary vein. And uh, these devices uh, are designed uh, to uh, achieve uh, uh, isolation in a very fast, uh, you know, uh, very short period of time and very uh, successful. A uh, convergent uh, uh, approach uh, is uh, one of the uh, latest uh, uh, techniques uh, that uh, uh, has been uh, proposed for patients with a, a persistent atrial fibrillation or long-lasting persistent atrial fibrillation who are generally uh, considered not really a good candidate uh, for uh, a conventional catheter ablation. Convergent means uh, to uh, make uh, the electrophysiology and the surgeon uh, talk uh, each other. That means uh, the combination uh, of a surgical approach, uh, which means the uh, epicardial uh, ablation and uh, the endocardial ablation uh, performed by electrophysiologists. Convergent uh, approach uh, is a design uh, to uh, treat patient uh, with a very uh, complex uh, uh, clinical scenario. Uh, those patients with a persistent atrial fibrillation, which is uh, the most complex uh, arrhythmia, uh, cannot be uh, treated uh, successfully uh, with the conventional uh, catheter ablation, transcatheter ablation. Therefore, in order to uh, reduce the likelihood to have recurrences, uh, I think that we need to have the surgeon capable to uh, isolate the posterior wall, which is one of the uh, critical uh, anatomic sites uh, uh, in the atrial uh, which sustains atrial fibrillation. And the electrophysiology needs uh, to do uh, PV isolation uh, uh, following uh, uh, the uh, surgical ablation. So, in other terms, uh, I do really think that a convergent uh, uh, is probably uh, the best uh, technique uh, uh, that we have uh, currently uh, to treat patients with the most complex uh, uh, atrial fibrillation scenario. Well, I, at least uh, as a, an electrophysiologist, obviously, I, I look at, you know, uh, uh, new technologies, uh, uh, new approaches, uh, and uh, I have uh, already uh, seen uh, really a, a good improvement in the field. I think that uh, probably in the uh, very near future we have uh, uh, more technologies uh, in our portfolio, and therefore, you know, all these uh, uh, technologies will allow us uh, to treat uh, properly and more successfully our patients with atrial fibrillation.